Let's do some more of these classic age word problems. So we're told that William is four times as old as Ben. Twelve years ago, William was seven times as old as Ben. How old is Ben now? So once again, it's a good idea to try to do this on, on your own first, and then I'll work through it. So what's the unknown here? Well, the unknown in here is how old is Ben now? So let's set a variable equal to that, and we could do x or y, but since Ben starts with a b, let's use b for Ben. So let's let, let's let b equal Ben's current age. Ben's age now. So let's see how all of this other information relates to Ben's current age, and then maybe we can set up some equation and then solve for things. So I'll, I'll do it a little bit more structured in this one. And you could have done many of the problems we've been working on in this way. So let's think about Ben. Let's think about Ben. And then let's think about William. I'll do William in blue here. So let's think about William. William. And then there's two points in time we're talking about. We're talking about now, today, and we're going to talk about 12 years ago. So let's talk about, so over here, let's say today, or let's call that now. This will be our now column, and then this will be our 12 years ago. 12 years ago. So let's see what we can fill in here. So what is Ben's age now? Well, we just defined that as the variable b. That's the unknown. That's what we have to figure out. So let's just stick that there. So that's going to be, that's just going to be b. Well, what's Ben's age 12 years ago? And so we would maybe want to express it in terms of b. Well, if he's b now, 12 years ago, he was just b minus 12. Fair enough. Now, what is William's age today? Well, this first sentence gave us the information. William is four times as old as Ben. And we can assume that they're talking about today. Is, is four times as old as Ben. So if Ben is b, William is going to be 4b, 4b. And so how old was William 12 years ago? Well, if he's 4B right now, 12 years ago, he'll just be 12 less than that. So he's 4B now. 12 years ago, it was 4B minus 12. So that's kind of interesting. But we haven't quite yet made use of this second statement. 12 years ago, William, so this is William 12 years ago. 12 years ago, William was seven times as old as Ben. So 12 years ago, this number, is going to be seven times this number. Or another way to think about it, take this number and multiply it by seven, seven, and you're going to get this number. 12 years ago, Ben was, Ben's age is one seventh of William's age, or William's age is seven times Ben's age. So let's see if we can set that up as an equation. So we can have, we can have seven times this, let me write this down, seven, times Ben's age 10, 12 years ago, 7 times 10, Ben's age 12 years ago, b minus 12, is going to be equal to William's age. Is going to be equal to William's age. And it seems like we've done the hard part. We've set up the equation. Now we just use a little bit of our algebraic tools to solve for b. So let's do that. So the first thing we might want to do, we could distribute the 7. So 7 times b, 7 times essentially negative 12. So we have 7b minus 7 times 12. Let's see, 7, it's 84. 84 is going to be equal to 4b minus 12. Is going to be equal to 4b minus 12. This, this whole expression is literally 7 times Ben's age 12 years ago. Now what can we do to solve this? Well, we can subtract 4b from both sides. So let's do that, 4b. Well, I can do two steps at the same time. Well, actually, let's just, let's just keep it simple. So I'm going to subtract 4b from both sides. That goes away. On the right-hand side, I have a negative 12. On the left-hand side, I'm left with 7b minus 4b is 3b. And then I still have a minus 84. Well, I want to get rid of this negative 84, this minus 84 on the left-hand side. So let's add 84 to both sides. Let's add 84 to both sides. On the left-hand side, I'm just left with 3b. 
And on the right-hand side, I have negative 12 plus 84, or 84 minus 12, which is 72. 72. Now if I want to solve for b, I just have to divide both sides of that equation by 3. And so I am left with b is equal to, and now we have our drum roll, 72 divided by 3. And you might be able to do that in your head. It would be 24, I believe. And you could work it out on paper if you have trouble. Let's just do it real quick. 72, 3 goes into 7 2 times. You get, a, you get a 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract. You get bring down the 2. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So b is equal to 24. Going back to our question, what is Ben's age now? It is 24. And let's verify that this is actually the case. So they're telling us that William is four times as old as Ben. So what is William's current age? Well, four times 24 is 96. So William is a, is a senior. We should call him Mr. William. So let's see, he is 96 years old. Maybe he's Ben's grandfather or great-grandfather. Then they say 12 years ago, William. Well, 12 years ago, William was 84 years old. So he was 84 years old. They say that's seven times as old as Ben. Well, 12 years ago, Ben, if he's 24 now, Ben was, ben was 12. And indeed, 84 is seven times 12. So it all worked out.